So Shechem Shechem, for us to address people that are hearing this for the first time, they're not familiar with this, and their only point of reference for when you talk about throwing some coins mm -hmm. or some shells or picking a card out of a deck, their only reference to this is fortune telling or uh, it might even be a negative reference that this is something that we're trafficking in dark magic or something like that. Can you give us some um, understanding, some historical perspective about oracles and where this comes from? How does it, you know, how does it relate to our spirituality? Well, you know, people have no way of relating firsthand, interacting firsthand with antiquity. That's past and gone. So, and rather than, you know, uh, involve myself in, you know, an abstruse intellectual discourse, which, you know, you can say anything, you know, <clears throat> uh, I, I can tell people to speak to their friends that I've been using the I Ching, Medunite Arco, you know, Taro, Ifa, you know, for many years, 10, 20, 30 years. And they want to find these are upstanding people, you know, um, honest, you know, well put together people like anybody else. You see that? Meaning that they're working with the, these oracles in no way has compromised their ethics or the spirituality, you know, the character and so on. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, it only takes a handful of readings through any of these oracle systems you know, for people to discover that the answers they get are right on point. You see that? Meaning, is it doesn't tell you, uh, yes, do something, no, don't do something. You know, sometimes it says, yes, outright, no, outright, but it also gives you an education as to why not or why yes. You see that? And, and it goes beyond, you know, telling you <clears throat> what you should do or not do, you know, uh, there's a message behind each reading that you have to be an initiate to know. And the, the hidden message that if you do X, Y, Z, or don't, or you refrain from doing A, B, C, you will grow spiritually. You mm -hmm. see that? Your character will improve. Mm -hmm. You know, you get more relation, a better relationship with your soul and your spirit. And when you have a good relationship with your soul and your spirit, then know you will develop what is called spiritual power, psychical abilities, and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the oracle becomes now a, a tool, a major part of your spiritual growth curriculum. Mm -hmm. It's just not something that you consult to find uh, the best job opportunity or, you know, the best investment opportunity or vehicle. It's just not, you know, to clarify, should you marry somebody or not, and so on, okay? The answer behind that is always do this or don't do that, and you will grow spiritually, mm -hmm. and you develop your soul, which is very important. And, and we use this to judge the different oracles. You see that? Because when people go, when people do a tarot reading, they don't necessarily give, get, you know, a real in-depth spiritual or psychical guidance because the tarot does not have that symbol set in them. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> can Can you explain a little bit more by what you mean by the symbol set? Okay, sure. In other words, the the Bible of the Ching, for example, right? It's based, you know, on the the uh, ten. They said the Bible, but which Ba is eight, and Gua means the eight symbols. But the system is really ten symbols. You see that? Five yang and five yin basic three grams are the foundation of the I Ching. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay? And all of the messages from the three grams and the hexagrams corresponds to information <clears throat> about your soul, your psyche. You see that? The medunator, on the other hand, is composed of, you know, 11 spiritual faculties plus the symbols for you know, Nekebed and Wajet, which are the um, psychic part of your being, as well as a symbol for the ancestors, okay, as and the dark disease. 
You see, meaning, you know, d defunct people who have not transitioned properly, or you could become one of those people if you don't change your ways and so on. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the Meduna here references the 11 laws of Ma'at. You see that? Mm -hmm. The I Ching references, you know, the 10 symbols of the soul or the psyche, but you have to be well versed in Taoism. You see, the Tao is philosophy to really properly use the I Ching. Lots of people don't know that when the I Ching was first translated into English, you know, um, you know, Carl Jung, the eminent psychologist, he wrote the preface to the book, to the translation, the Wilhelm, you know, translation, you know, and and it occurred to Carl Jung to ask the I Ching, well, what are your thoughts about being introduced to the Western world? And uh, he got the figured hexagram, which is uh, which is the oracle itself. And and the oracle I Ching told Carl Jung that you know, the handle of this spiritual cauldron have been altered, meaning that you, you will not be able to grasp the oracle properly. You see that? And the fat of the pheasant will not be eaten, mm -hmm. meaning that the, the, the essence, the creme de la creme, will not be assimilated for the simple fact that the aging is part of a Taoist society, a society, you know, of Taoist priests and with a rich set of Taoist tools. You see that the whole, you know, um, so-called Chinese medicine and so forth and way of thinking. Okay, so when you bring the aging into the Western world that does that knows nothing about Taoism, you know, you're only getting like 5% of the value of the aging. Mm -hmm. The same thing with Meduna Tia. The Meduna Tia is based on the entire committed, you know, spiritual philosophy and practices. So that if you just use the Meduna Tia, Without being, without immersing yourself into the Osarian tradition, okay, you're only getting about five percent of its value. That's why we have an initiation system in all of these classes for 49 years, you know, most of which have, are free because we want for people to immerse themselves in this ancient tradition, which gave the world its spirituality, its science, and everything that mm -hmm. is good.